Ato Enuneke The term Anunnaki breaks down as Anu Naki. Anu is the name of the Sumerian sky god, while Ki is the name of the Sumerian earth goddess. Anu means sky. In linguistics, A and E interchanges. Thus, the Sumerian sky god Anu derives from the Igbo sky god Enu. And Ki possibly originated from the many names of the Igbo earth goddess Ekenwafia. Thus, Anunnaki is Enuna na Ekene, which is the sky father and the earth mother. The ancient Sumerians, Egyptians, and Babylonians venerated the culture of the bull cow just like the ancient Igbo did. The bull cow culture represents the Milky Way and the origin of the universe. This is another evidence proving that Igbo culture goes back thousands of years. The image on the left depicts a kenne vomiting the sun at dawn. She either vomits or bets the sun at dawn, and every evening the sun dwells in her cosmic womb. When we want to go into our female lineage, we have to look into the mysteries of our Tunnewa Ichupu. The Supreme Grand Lady of the Great Chin, she unveils herself as the Milky Way Galaxy, Venus and the Taurus constellation. Atunna Chukwu Atunna is our mother in her nourishing form as the heavenly cow. The Milky Way is called the Milky Way because it looks like a ton in milk. When a woman is pregnant, her breast gets bigger and milky because the creative mother is the sacred cow. The Milky Way is the galaxy that includes our solar system. The oldest stars in the Milky Way are as old as our universe. In Igbo, cow is called Efi, Ehi or Ato. The Igbo word Efi, Ehi gives birth to the title for the Kemet African bull cow culture of the city of Memphis, Menefe, which is Efi, Efi, Afis. The god Afi, Afis is Patha as a bull, while the cow mother Hathor, Hataru, is his mother. Na to Asa, the seven Hathors copied by the Greeks as the Pleiades. The seven daughters of Atlas originated in Ibu as Na to Asa, both the goddess Nut and Hataru are embodiments of the Igbo goddess Nato. The cow of heaven. All the ancient Kush Kemet African goddesses associated with the sacred cow are Hetaru, Nut, Net, and Mehetwaret. They are all various embodiments of Atunnawa Ejupu.
ati won anyo opo The constellation of Taurus is associated with the several myths and bull-cow venerations from several ancient cultures. It was the first sign of the zodiac established by amongst the ancient African traveling explorers in Dushiagada. As it was the constellation through which the sun rose on the vernal equinox at that time. Modern Igbo people still holds the cow to be very sacred. There is also a cow festival in various places in Igbo land, such as the festival of Atunewi, and there is a specific cow known as the Igbo cow. It is usually black and brown in color. Yomigwenasa. <laughs> The Milky Way can be seen with the naked eyes from Earth. The ancient Igbo astrologers explored the Milky Way the same way that various other ancient cultures explored the sky. In the constellation of Taurus, we can see the seven sisters discovered in various ancient cultures. In Igbo spirituality, these women were responsible for the foundation of what we know today as Igbo culture. They are the daughters of Atunewa Ichuku. Nut and Jeb are Natunanjaba. The goddess Nut is the Milky Way, just like the Igbo goddess Nato. While Jeb is the Et water spirit in Jaba.
Obuguato. The mysteries of the Milky Way unveils the feminine energy fields and the role that women play in creation. It also unveils that the feminine energy is a very powerful energy in the cosmos. The coach Kemet notes Nato enlightens us that the entire universe is inside of the body of the goddess. Atudu, Udu, the Igbo vessel is the symbol of female power and energy field. which represents the cosmic womb. Udu is a water jog and a sacred instrumental vessel to Igbo women, which is played during various ceremonies. The Milky Way teaches us about our origin. And the origin of our universe. And that everything was bathed and the only beings capable of bathing things are the feminine beings. Atuna Chukukomusu initiated the structural plan of the cosmos and bathed our universe from Sirius B, Obolodon. The African woman is the mitochondrial Eve. Scientifically meaning that the Afro woman is the mother of all human species. Nato is the wisdom of Nato that gave birth to 
how we see all natural phenomena. She is responsible for the reason why all that is in nature exists as masculine and feminine. She also governs our thought streams as the great planner and the great creator of the various ideas we have. No, not true. The supreme cow of heaven is also the queen of heaven. The Taurus constellation enlightens us about the origin of mother goddesses. The sacred cow is a symbol of female fertility and motherhood. Atu Oma, Oma Atu. Atu Oma is the Igbo principle for balance, equilibrium, order, and morality. The goddess Maat was an embodiment of Oma Atu in Igbo. To generate a great thought, to follow the right principles, to practice morality and fairness is Atuoma Omatu Nibo spirituality. The various similarities between Igbo spirituality and Kemet African spiritual systems proves that the ancient Igbo shamans were the ones that laid the foundation for their spiritual systems and culture. It also proves that the deities of Kush Kemet were imported from West Africa. The Creator God in Ibu, Ezato, in one of his most supreme forms as Ngu, Ezeenu, the father of Ikenga. The spirit of Ngu is very energetic and one of his zoomorphic forms is as the bull. In Ibu, the bull is called Okefi or Ato. 
A bull represents masculine energy force. As the word ato also means creative thoughts and structural plan. Ato represents masculine creative force. Ibo Dibias, shamans hold the staff of Ungu. There are two major staff of Ungu. One is Ungualo, the other is Unguagrega. Ungualo is used for turning energy, while Unguagrega is used for transmitting energy.